Just down here at the neighbors today, loading some corn. Got a few loads for them, and a few loads for my cousin to go this week. And we might even start planting. So, yeah, getting her loaded up. Gonna be a good week. What's up, guys? Coming live from the field, doing BTO stuff. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, first tillage of the year. We had the local elevator come and spread fertilizer. It looks like rain. We got to work this field twice, anyways. So we're going crossways, kind of working in the fertilizer. Hopefully we can get it done before the rain. If not, not a big deal, but yeah, having fun. First day, here we go. We got Todd going over there. Say hi, Todd. Hello, everybody. Don't forget, if you like the video, like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, so we got our two, uh, this works out really good. What we're actually doing is we've got two identical 28 foot pendant cultivators. And uh, I'm going every other swath. He's coming in behind me and filling in the blanks. So it works good. You got a few drops on the windshield. I don't know if you can see it, but it's getting dirty. Not too bad yet, but. Hopefully at least we can get this uh, front half of the field done. There we go. Plant 21 has started. So we're still rolling. Hasn't rained yet. We've got the first 60 acres done. As you see, we got local fertilizer guys here. They're still working hard getting that on. Thanks guys, appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna get her worked in. Hopefully get her done before she rains, but uh, making good progress it goes really fast when you got you know almost 60 feet of swath of cultivator every pass so yeah I'm in the 240 and Todd's over there in the 180 so making dust probably won't plant for a few days it's still gonna snow or rain or whatever it's gonna do there's some weather in the forecast here that doesn't look too favorable so this uh, Field. We wanted to get the fertilizer on. We wanted to work it, like I said, the first time. And then uh, should be in good shape. Let it get a let it get a nice rain or snow or whatever it's going to do on it, and then warm back up, and uh, we'll work it again and plant her. It should be in really good shape. So this is working probably nicer than it's ever worked in the last. I don't know. It's been a few years, anyways. This is pretty heavy ground once you get away from the creek there so yeah it's nice i better uh put the phone down get back to work and hopefully him and i don't run into each other day two of tillage we didn't really end up getting as much rain last night as they were possibly calling for uh we do have snow in the forecast tonight though so right here got another farm spread uh todd and i are working again crossways against this rough chisel plow but Get her done here. But yeah, here we are out in the field. Kind of a gloomy day out today. As you can see. And then uh, just across the way over there, interrogators going in another field. So we're getting the field spread, which is good. Sometimes you can't always get those guys out of here when you want. But, Tractor's running good, cultivators are working good. Field's fairly dry, we're just scratching it in. See here in the middle of this field, you can see along this ridgeway here, or this gully, they were in and fixed a municipal main tile. So this is concrete and stuff, maybe we'll run back to the side by side and clean some of that up before we plant. But just getting this leveled off and then uh, after the snow next week, we'll, or this week, we'll get out and work it lengthways and, and get her planted. Last pass for this field, for this round, another one done. So we got that field done, tractors are home, parked in the yard, and now look, it's snowing. We had one more field we are going to do today, but I think we're just going to leave her park, wait for better weather. It's the next morning, waking up, and in some places we got six inches of snow on the ground. It's April 21st, 2021.
Crazy times we're living in. Well, we made it on our drive down to uh, Sarnia to the ethanol plant. Got the tarp roll, we'll go up there to the gate, we'll get scaled in, get her dumped off, and we'll catch back up with you. Well, got that load off, everything went well. We'll turn and burn, hit the highway, and uh, get home and see what kind of trouble we can get into on the farm today. Well, we made her back safe and sound. The truck's not too dirty. Roads weren't too bad, but uh, gotta wash the salt off again. That kind of sucks. But man, it's easy. What a day makes, or a couple days difference makes. Just yesterday we were out working ground. We worked this field two days ago, and now here they sit covered in snow. So, anyways, we'll get to uh, leave this outside, let it drip off, let the ground firm up a bit, and uh, we'll go see what kind of trouble we can get into for the rest of the day. Well guys, if, if you saw in that last clip the doors going up and down, that was, uh, we were at the farm shop there and we had a, finally an automatic door opener installed there. So the guys were out um, late this morning putting that on and testing it and getting the remotes working and stuff like that. So that's what that was. And then you probably saw the sprayer in the shop. Uh, we had a coolant leak on it. So we've got, you know, the guys that work on our sprayer looking for it's actually ended up being a water pump so they're out looking for a new one apparently there's not one to be had in north america so see what happens on it. it you can still run it it's leaking a bit it's not too bad if we had to go do some spraying but with this snow probably won't be spraying for a few days anyway so that's fine um <clears throat> yeah and then the rest of the day really was pretty crummy out so we, we really didn't do anything kind of came in the house got caught up on some book work stuff like that um, i'll show you real quick you can see most of that snow that we saw this morning is melted. So yeah, we, we came in the house and decided to do some more constructive things. So thanks for watching. Appreciate all the watches, the likes, the subscribes. It really means a lot. We'll catch you on the next one. Say hi, Todd. Hello, everybody. Don't forget, if you like the video, like and subscribe. <laughs>